Hello photographers, back guys here with another review. In this video we are going to have an unboxing and depth reviewing of Canon US 1200D, this EFS 18 to 55mm Mark III kit lens. These are the stuff which was inside the box. Canon shoulder strap, battery charger, model is LCE10E, battery chargers cable, mini USB cable, the battery, and here is the model LPE10, Cameras I EFS 18 to 55 mm Mark III lens, and of course the handsome camera US 1200D. First thing first, let's open the cabs and attach the lens on the camera. For attaching the lens, we need to put these white dots beside each other and then turn it side. That's it. But for releasing the lens again, we should press this unlock button and then turn it side. On the side of the camera, we have three inputs, mini HDMI, mini USB, and the last one is remote option. We have a speaker on the top, and we have a microphone in front of the camera. At the bottom of the camera, we have an option to put on a tripod, monopod, or anything else. And here, we have a battery and memory card compartment. Let's load them in. Here is the battery and memory card. As we notice, the battery and memory card both are in the same place. On top of the camera, we have a speed light place, on and off button, better turn it on, shutter release button, screw button, flash pop-up button, and last but not least is the mode dial, which allows us to choose the different modes to shoot. Here we have manual mode, aperture priority, shutter priority, program, auto, no flash, creative, portrait, landscape, close up, sports, night portrait, and video mode. Let's get back to the manual mode. Manual mode let us to set everything manually, which it is really good and make you to be professional. Finally, at the back of the camera, we have the viewfinder screen with many buttons. So let's see what are these buttons for. This button is the live view mode. And by pressing it, we can see the subject on the screen and we cannot see anything through the viewfinder. By pressing this play button, we can see the image and videos that we've taken. For changing the photos, we can use these buttons to go to the next one or using this scroll button. Of course, with these couples, we can zoom in and out. This is the menu button to change and set the camera. To change the autofocus point, we need to press the zoom button and then use these buttons to change it manually. By pressing the set button twice in the middle, we can set it on automatic point. By pressing this Q button, we could quickly change 12 different settings on the screen. In manual mode, the first column is shutter speed. For changing the shutter speed, we can use this cool button. And the shutter speed is 1 to 400, which included 30 seconds and bulb. The second is aperture. For changing the aperture, we need to press this dedicated button and quickly change it by scrolling. Next one is ISO. We can change it from a screen or using this quick button. The other are flash exposure compensation, pop-up button, which we had a dedicated button here. Auto light optimizer, image size and quality, metering mode, timer mode. Again, we have a dedicated button for timer mode here. First one is for single shooting. Second is for multiple shooting. Especially good to using on moving subject. Next one is the timer mode in 10 seconds. And the next one is the same but in 2 seconds. The last one is the same 10 second timer but in a multiple shoot. Choosing that how many photos we need to capture. Next one is for autofocus operation. Which according to the subject movement. And we have a dedicated button here to change it quickly. Next one is the picture style, you know, choosing the image effects, standard, portrait, landscape, and the other. The last one is the white balance. Again, we have a quick button here with many different options, such as auto, white balance, daylight, cloudy, and the others. This last button is the display button to save the power. Now we're testing focusing speed in video mode through the live view. 
These are our subject, Canon 50mm f1.8 and Canon 24-105mm f4. Now changing the mode dial into the manual mode for testing the focusing speed for photography. Okay, our subjects are ready. Just a smile a bit. And I'll set the details. So let's check the focusing speed through the viewfinder. Well, looks fast. Good, that's good. Better than video mode. I know we saw the focusing noise while testing the focusing speed, but now let's check that closer. Now we're in manual mode, here's the focusing noise. Now let's put it in video mode, and here's the focusing noise. As you know, I always use a lens hood on my lenses, and for this lens, I bought EW60C. Let me load it, and that's how does it looks like. Now we're testing the zoom range of the lens from 18 to 55 millimeter on the tripod. Now we're in 18 millimeter, 35 millimeter, and 55. Back to the 18 millimeter and 55. This is the 18 megapixel crop sensor DSLR with 9 autofocus point in 3 frame per second with recording a full HD video. Camera body with battery is about 480 grams. With 18 to 55 millimeter lens is about 680 grams. ISO is 100 up to 6400 but can be upgraded up to 12800. The body is well made and of course it's all plastic but it is in a good size, handy, small and light. All in all, easy to handle and easy to use. Mentioning that this is a really good camera, especially for beginners. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe the channel to see more videos. Have a great shooty day. Okay. have three inputs included. <laughs>